Hey everyone, it's Finn. So I'm doing a bit of a different vlog this week. Um, I haven't really done binder reviews before, but I've just bought a new binder. A couple of people have asked me what, what binders I use, etc. Um, and I've always found reviews to be helpful, so I thought it was about time I did one. So, I have been binding since November 2011, so just under a year and a half, something like that. Um, before then I squashed myself into very small sports bras. Um, mm, this is much, much more effective. So, I'm an Underworks fan, I love Underworks, absolutely swear by them. And the one I've been using for this whole time is this thing. Um, it's a love-hate relationship, hence it's called Thing, because it is a bit like being a sausage skin. But it does a really, really good job of hiding the moves. Now, it is the Extreme Chest Concealer with the Relaxed Midsection. It's the 988. So that means it binds at the top, over the chest area, but the bottom is relaxed. So it's this material underneath, we can see. This is what binds, the thing that's underneath. Then there's like the cotton vest over the top. And it's been great. It has been great. Before then, I had the double front compression shirt uh, vest, the 997, which is this material, but rather than being just at the top of the chest, it's the whole way down, so it doesn't have a relaxed midsection. Now, I get a bit of IBS, too much information I know, and my tummy can bloat um, if I eat the wrong thing, or it can just bloat if it feels like it. And when I was wearing the full compression vest that was compressing my tummy as well, it was causing me to bloat, and I was in agony. I managed about two weeks in it, because I was loving the fact that it was really binding so well. I had a lovely flat chest, it was fantastic, but I was in so much pain. So... Although I think that one does bind well, if you've got a bit of a delicate tummy like me, you might be better off going for this. The, I have to read the numbers off this again because I forget. So it's the 988, and it's got the compression underneath at the top half and a relaxed tummy. Now, the downside to this is it's really, really hot. I suffer with overheating anyway. I spend a lot of time outdoors in the summer, a lot of time camping. And I boiled in this because of the, the cotton that goes over the top is really thick. Um, and it does feel... I don't like that feeling of having too many clothes on. <laughs> you know, I'm not a stripper or anything. But you know what I mean. It's like you've got to have this on and then a t-shirt over the top. And it's just quite bulky. I intention I bought it with the intention of just wearing it as a standalone vest. But you can't really do that. One, because when you're wearing it and you push your moves down, they end up out the armpits, you end up with the dog ears. Plus, it's quite low, so, you know, if I look down, I can see cleavage, and I'm extremely dysphoric, um, so even if it was hidden under a t-shirt, the fact that I could look down my t-shirt and see cleavage was, whoa, not too good. So, this was great, I loved it, but recently, I've been thinking, right, I can't go through another summer being that over hot. I have a question for Underworks, if you're listening. This is a great concept. I love the idea of a relaxed midsection, just binding at the top and looking like a vest. But can you not make it a little bit higher around the neck so it's more of a male neckline? And also this, why don't you make it with this pure polyester, like the um, like running t-shirts and that that you get? Because that would wick sweat away, be a lot cooler. And also when you put a t-shirt on top of polyester, because I, I layer up my running vests so that I've got of polyester, they slide over each other. Because this is cotton, it kind of attaches to the t-shirt on top of it. So a polyester vest over the binding material would work much better. So Underworks, if you're listening, try that out. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, I love this. I love this. It didn't make me feel like I was wearing anything other than a vest. Um, and it was great. But then recently, I thought, I do need a new binder. Um, they're doing some of the binders now on Underworks in nude, which is great skin colour. So I went and got myself the Tri-Top, which is number 983, the Tri-Top chest binder, which is this. So it comes in this lovely shade of kind of nude, they call it, so it's supposed to be a bit more discreet under clothing, and it is really. I did look at this originally, but I was a bit concerned with it being like half like this, that it might feel like a um, sports bra, you know, so... I've kind of avoided it until now. But I think, because I used to wear sports bras and it kind of triggers memories of moves, bleh, it, they were black and white. So I was hoping maybe because it was this and slightly longer, it wouldn't trigger. 
and it, it, it's fine. It, I don't feel like I'm wearing a sports bra at all. And it binds really, 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 really well. I love it. And it is going to be so much cooler. Um, because it is just the um, the binding material, which the same as this, but without, obviously, the, the cotton over the top. Um, so, yeah, I mean, if you look at my chest, I am pretty flat, even when I stick it out. You know, it's, it's really, really good. Loves it, loves it. Yeah, I think it works really, really well. No problem. Um, and because it's obviously thinner, because it doesn't have the cotton, shirts sit over the top of it better. Um, and I, I just think it's great. I wish I got it sooner, to be honest. I think all the underworks bind well, but this does really, really well. It's thicker than the one, the binding material that's underneath this, you see. I'm just checking how long I'm going on for, because you know what I'm like. Um, it is shorter than it looks in the picture, which in some ways is good. If you look at the picture on the underworks of it, right? Um, this, let me say this again because I get it wrong. It's the 983. Look at pictures of the guy wearing it. He's got this big pot belly. Now, I'm not a huge guy, but I don't have a washboard stomach, so I was kind of worried and thinking, oh God, is it going to make me have a pot belly? But it's actually loose around the bottom. I'm going to flash my stomach, I think. Am I going to flash my stomach? Yes, I am. Where it comes to, hit, see, it comes a bit higher up than they said, but it's not too bad. It's at the bottom of my ribs. And this is actually not tight. I was worried it was going to be right against there, so that when I sat down, it would cause me to have a pot belly. But it's actually not that tight there. And it, it's fine. Um, yeah, and it doesn't make me feel like I'm wearing a sports bra. <clears throat> I really love it. It's great. One thing about it is that the neckline is higher, which is great. It means I can look down my top and see no cleavage, which is absolute godsend. But then if you are going to wear certain tops, v-necks and so forth, it does show a bit. It's not a problem for me because I don't wear anything that could even remotely reveal... Sorry, that was my phone. Uh, I don't wear anything that can like look down the top at all. I'm very careful about my necklines because um, I'm paranoid, <coughs> really. <coughs> so, yeah, anybody that wants a binder, underworks all the way, this is brilliant. This is brilliant. If you're not one of the people like me that lives in a tent most of the summer um, and overheating isn't a problem, this vest is great. But if you're like me and you overheat um, and you want something that's, you know, not as bulky under your clothing, I love this. Honestly, I'm so glad that I got that. It's great. One thing that is a bit of a pain is the sizing. You've got to be careful of underworks because the sizing is very different. Um, with this one, uh, the 988, yeah. um, I'm kind of right smack in the mid middle of the small. Whereas with this one, the 983, I'm right on the edge of the small erring on needing a medium and I kind of weighed it up and went for a small and I'm glad I did it's fine um obviously it's tight but it you know that's what they do it does cut in here a little bit but if I think if I'd got a medium it wouldn't have um bound binded as well but I think because this is obviously thinner than the cotton it has a tendency to bite and round here I can get a bit sore towards the end of the day so yeah watch the sizing and I'd say if you are on the cusp like me between small and medium go with the small because you know it's not crushing but you can breathe I think the medium would be a bit too big um, so yeah there you go there's my binder reviews and comparisons underworks all the way for me I have tried one other type of binder which is the kind of tea kingdom design which has got the velcro on the side um, nah. my, a kind friend gave it to me and it binds but it's not great it gives you a fairly flat look, but the trouble is, you can't kind of rearrange yourself properly, so it, it, they don't look very peck-like. So I'm not over keen. However, I love the fact that it's Velcro on the side. This is my emergency binder. It stays by my bed, so that if the fire alarm goes off in the night or anything like that, I can whip this on really quick rather than stepping into a binder and pulling it all up. You know how long that takes the binder dance. This, you can get it on in a couple of seconds. I take it camping, so if I need a pee in the middle of the night, because I'm not wandering around with my moves out, I can stick this on quickly. If I'm staying at people's houses, you know, you get up in the morning in your, in your pyjamas, I can whack this on before seeing everybody. So this is an, a great emergency binder for 
those moments we need to chuck a barge on quick, you know, you're in the bath and someone knocks at the door and you've got to quickly hide your moves. I love this for that. But otherwise, underworks all the way. And I can highly, 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 highly recommend D983. The tri top. Love it. So, I hope that was helpful in amongst all my rambling and excitedness. Right, I shall leave it as that then, guys. Any comments, questions, whatever, just drop me a message in the box below or PM me. I'm always happy to help if I can and if you need a bit more detail, something I've missed out or I've just waffled too fast and confused you, then just get in touch with me and I will do what I can to help. You take care, everybody, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.